Okay, guys. Sorry for that. I had a problem. So now, what I'm going to do for you is testing 90 as we did. And you say that it's not yet under Steve. So, sorry, oh, it's not this, it's still stable. The driver controller is keeping the vehicle under control. And why I'm saying it? Because all of the response are remain constant. I still have a very good grip to the road. And a part of it is because of the road itself. I'm harvesting as much as lateral friction uh, control of force I could have from the road and tire system. The lateral acceleration is 0.63 G. Quite amazing. If it was a truck, it has already rolled over, could or already start to roll over. And steering wheel is also fine. So maybe I will try to, I don't recommend it to you, but let's get here and try to model something a bit quite wet and see if this is point 75, if the system still stay nice. And it's good to it still. If I go to the plot, slightly lower lateral acceleration, I think, and the same thing. So you have a bunch of uh, values. You will try to use these values it's as an assignment for you to find the uh, handling handling diagram so the first thing you should consider for drawing a handling diagram and conclude the appropriate thing out of it is try to find a good reference read about handling diagram and then understand that the units you are using degrees and the g's you may not need to use degrees, you should change everything to radians. The next step you should think about is determine the Ackerman steering angle for outer wheel. Okay, so for finding the Ackerman steering wheel, uh, you should have a wheelbase and track width. I think the wheelbase I showed you. Here, oh, sorry, uh, give me a second. Yes, track it. Although left and right are five millimeter different, so but anyway, you can do it. And this is a wheelbase. Which one is that? This is 233. 2330. So you see if the steering design you have is how much is a stay away or close to the Ackerman angle. So you first of all you plot the graph, then Ackerman, and then you you should use the properties of the tire. I just put it here on Excel to extract the uh, C alphas and try to see if the design you had was oversteer or understeer and then compare it with your uh, simulation handling diagram results so for C alpha you remember how to do that I told you so based on this graph this shape you will have then load under the tire front and rear with the total weight just neglect the honest prime mass effect for simplicity you will have a load there and divided by two because you defined it based on axle you will have a value here for front and the rear 
so then you know that you should have a try to find the stiffness here again remember that these values are newton and degrees so if you really want to find a good good k under steep unit you should maybe convert it or again remember it so positive negative will not change but the value is very important to consider it then you know how to find the linear range and based on the shape i'm seeing for a small load you shouldn't go technically very close to three degrees so maybe finding the slope of between one between less than three degrees is a best approach although here you can go higher but i don't want to make it very complicated for you so just consider the linear range of the tire property which is less than three here and find the slope for yourself and try to convert it to k under steer and then compare it to what you got here from the results and the graph you made anyway guys that's over for now i will try to put a link for uploading of uh, and upload a kind of small pdf for the description of this test so you go back there as a reference and if you try to want to use it just use it good luck and i hope the video could help you to go further into the car scene and test more.